All right, guys, that is a plug socket. Now, this is related to the idea of, for the guys who sand fours, testing out uh, plug sockets for power uh, during the survey at the customer's house. A uh, few people, including myself, recently have had some issues uh, in properties with low voltage. Uh, so this can be a good idea just to check at the survey stage to see if you're going to have any problems because uh, not every machine's got a voltage reader built in. Some do, some don't. And you uh, simply don't want to be damaging your uh, big belt machines. That could be an expensive problem. So I'm just going to show you here how to use one of... got a voltage reader here. And here in the UK, you want it set to the AC mode on your one, okay? Now, on the sockets here in the UK, your left bottom pin, that's going to be your negative, And on the right side is going to be the positive, okay? So in general, on, on electrical stuff, it's going to be... Black's going to be your negative, red's going to be your positive. Now, with UK sockets, we've got a bit of safety built in, so the so you can't kids can't stick things in sockets so easily. So the top actual pin there needs to be engaged, otherwise this won't work and you'll get no reading whatsoever. So I've got this here, and that does work. And yes, that is from an old car, uh, but it's plastic, it fits in, so there's not any issues at all. So at the moment, if you engage in the socket, there we go, push, getting some voltage there, and then turn that on fully, and there we are, 239, so absolutely fine for the machines itself. So like you say, you'll find out in jobs, have one of these machines, they're quite cheap to buy on the likes of uh, Amazon, eBay, things like that. You're talking less than £50, really. Uh, and it's a lot cheaper than uh, spending potentially hundreds into maybe a £1,000 more on dialing back the motor on your belt machine. So stay safe.